All right, I muted uh, the stream, but uh, I'm going live with the broadcast will start soon. Look on. Are you making the party, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, we do use the game hard overlay, not the WCS game hard overlay. Uh, mod, I'm oh, sorry. Good, good. Need Venom in here? No, in the party. And we have posted the link, right? Ninety seconds. Uh, yeah, well, uh, just a moment. Now the sound is on, also, guys. Yes, uh, look and make you a uh, referee, by the, way, by the way. Everybody. And should I just uh, run cam or do you want to uh, run be observer, thank you, or Venom? Then you have to follow my game, guys. All right. <coughs>
I... I... Yeah, yeah, he should see it. See it. He, should he should see it. See it. They, they say, say they, they only hear, hear one, one guy, guy on the stream. I don't, I don't know, know who they don't, they don't hear. hear. The, the game, uh, uh, the game sound is too high. Just a moment, I have to turn it down. down. They say they only have one guy on the street. 
can I can see that on stream. I can't do anything when we are streaming. Sorry. Yeah, I know that. I could just notice that. I can't do anything again about it right now. Yeah, yeah, but I know, I know. I know sorry. sorry, I can't, I can't do, do anything in this game. Then I have to tap out. I, I just heard that myself on the tablet. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry.
it, like you just know that Protoss is likely to do something, so you will be very like diligent about scouting, and you're like more than fifty percent likely to pick up whatever cheese is coming. So and and then you're gonna be ahead. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go get some action. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll give them some time to pick a player as well. And Maxi, I'll hopefully fix the sound. I'll also be right back, get some water. Okay. How are you doing, Maxi? Let's see, maybe MTM can come come down and confirm. Oh, hello, Venom. Hello. We got a, a turn, so it's going to be TV2. Yes. Oh, perfect. Well, don't worry, Max. Like uh, you're our be best streamer, so don't feel. Oh, I'm sorry. Stream or talking to Maxi. Uh, we're gonna host the second game. Hope the um, casting will be as good because it might as have been the best casting ever in any StarCraft, you know, Starcraft game. I'm completely one. exhausted now after that uh, casting. I don't know if I can talk anymore. Like, oh my god! Like you guys missed out. Uh, domain kidding. checking in. Hey. Do you guys need any extra players? Um, yeah, but uh, you have to be on the ESL team. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need to be like registered to play. Ah. Uh, all right. Well, all right. good luck, guys. Thanks, man. Domain checking up. Yeah. Getting some uh, motivated, excited uh, members in Tor. Always ready to R help out. <laughs> That's awesome. I like it. Yeah, it's a great community. Mm -hmm. We got so many new members, man. Yeah, like, a lot uh, of the German guys lately. It's fun. Uh, we were really many Swedes for a while, so it's fun to get some diversity. Yeah. yeah. Are we waiting for the players? They need to take the break, getting ready for the game. Mm -hmm. So while we're waiting, we could say that Tall is a big clan and or community. We got uh, almost 2,500 players in all games, and we got about, I guess, 120-ish in StarCraft nowadays, in, divided into our EU and uh, NA fraction. If you like what you're seeing or you're interested in joining Tor, you can just sign up at Tor.net. We accept all places from all countries, sorry, all players from all countries and all races, and uh, we have events twice a week. We have a lot of clan wars on top of that. We get training and um, yeah, we got a very active uh, TS channel where you can just jump in and, and have a chat with your, your buddies. So uh, yeah, I recommend it. Well, seems like we're moving into the game here. Um, right. I'll rearrange the guys a bit. I don't know, maybe we shouldn't um, how do you say, um, tell uh, tell it like live what uh, Stan's strengths and weaknesses are. Uh, but uh, I can honestly say I don't know how his TVT is. Do you know, Venom? Well, I can say that his opponent has a pretty good TVT. He's a top 8 master and he's got 60% TVT. It's his best matchup. I think they sent him in to match Stan. Um, Yeah, we haven't gotten any confirmation from Stan, so yeah. Yeah, um, so I think this might be a, a, 
tough matchup for Stan. Stan's, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything about his statistics either, but uh, like it doesn't really matter. They've already selected their player, right? Um, so Stan got a little bit of a weaker activity. Yeah, uh, I know it's... that uh, I talked earlier today to Stan, like what he feels himself uh, uh, is his uh, stronger and weaker matchups, but uh, I don't know about his TVT. So. I'm just going to double check with the players before we start. Oh, Joe Man is online. Could he play? Is he in ASL? I think he is. Okay, we're going to move into game. All right. All right. Um, all right, we're moving into TVT. This is going to be exciting, I feel. I love TVT. Yeah, I'll play by play cast and you can go bananas. Okay. Uh, so Joe Man, by the way, says that he's not on the ASL team. Oh. Uh, Alright, so down in the bottom right, we have this time playing for Team Cyclic, it's Hilt N. Sounds very Swedish. Hi. And okay. a hero in the top Wait. left. Or, yeah, uh, playing in the blue. It's, of course, playing for Ta, it's Stan the Man. Just won his uh, last game, so let's hope he'll keep up with the winning spree here. Okay, building a CV. Yeah, we can yeah. see here, like, uh, the openings are so crucial. There's so many activities that ends after, like, three or five minutes. Um, oh, Maximus left the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yes. No, we can't restart, uh, I think. Yeah, I mean, they haven't scattered yet, so... Okay, they don't oh, want... Oh, okay, Hilton doesn't want to, so we'll yeah. have to cast blind. Yeah, I mean, there's no... Okay, should we radio cast this? I don't think anyone is listening anyway, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, so what's interesting here is Stan is opening gasless, or it's probably going to be 15 gas, which is a very unusual build nowadays. And it's going to go up against... Uh, let's see... I didn't pick up, actually, but I think this is gas first. It's a very late Rax, as you see. Yeah. Yes, 15 gas. Now, 15 gas is the old-school way of playing TVT. It's trying to be very safe. You're going to get... Um, Marines out, you're gonna get a Raven if your opponent is going uh, Banshee. Um, so I, I like that build, it's a, it's a hardcore uh, macro build, but it's not very modern, you don't see that anymore from basically any player. Uh, but he's getting the scout on here, he's gonna see the gas first, so uh, that's pr pretty cool. Um, yeah, factory immediately here. So, um, Stan should know what's up. Uh, but he's just going to follow the builder. It's going to be two marines, and then we're going to have an expansion at 20 supply. And then he's going to get this factory, his starport, and um, a raven and uh, reactor in between. Psychic uh, is actually going for um, for uh, Reaper. So gas first Reaper, which is very unusual. Oh. Uh, actually, second Reaper. Even. Second Reaper, yeah. yeah so this I is was going to ask you if we're going to see some early bench or something in the early gas, but I, I, I don't know about the gas spending. Say for Terran, I feel two Reapers cost a bit of gas, right? This is a gas first Reaper build, which is an all in, all in type of build. Um, it's going to stay on one base for a long time. Uh, and it's, you see, it's getting a second gas now. Um, so he's going to go from this Reaper into. Um, uh, Hellion aggression and then uh, pro possibly a drop, I think. Or is um, it full wall coming up? No bunker yet for Stan? Yeah. So the wall is very, very important against Hellions. Oh, of uh, course. Yeah. And I wish that Stan would actually scout the natural now to see that there's no expansion. And I hope he gets his wall up before. Uh, so this is a. Cl the, um, this aggression is very hard to deal with the two Reaper and one Hellion at this stage of the game. It's only on four Marines. He needs to have perfect splits, and he can't let that stuff. Uh, the, raise it up. The raise okay, six marine, 
Six experience, perfect. Now yeah, he knows what's up. Yeah. Now he knows to build. He lost two marines, and that's going to be crucial in the upcoming fight here. That's another Hellion. Um, two Hellions coming out for Stan, and they're actually like, yeah. obviously a lot closer to his wall off than um, for the Cyclic player here. So. Yeah, and there's a Cloak Bash behind this. This is going to be a very tough hold for Stan, but if he can hold, then he's uh, one base up, obviously. But he's only on, uh, I guess, four marines here. here. Which is not a lot. Fortunately, St Stan got re well. Reactor Hellions as a response behind this, which is a perfect response. And also he has the Engineering Bay and Turret coming up here. Yeah, yeah. and he's seen now, he's got to the Naturals, so he knows there's no expansion from his opponent. So he knows he's ahead, basically, he just needs to hold. Oh, oh, oh he lost his Hellions. Found around here. Yeah. He sh I, don't, I think it was a mistake to move out like that, but he got yeah, two more Hellions building behind here. So he's not dead. No, um, as we touched upon earlier, like he's got the quicker reinforcements here and the Viking very good. I think he read into the, the Banshee play here. Yeah, I mean, it's such a um, classic build in the meta right now. So you basically know when you see this that there's going to be a Banshee behind it. Um, it's sort of made for that. So now this attack is going to come together with the Banshee. As, uh, and unfortunately, he does. He won't have detection uh, close to the wall. So that the, the job of that banshee is to open the wall uh, to let the, the hellions in. But I don't think he will. Like he has enough here, Stan, given that yeah. he has reacted the hellions himself. And also the Vikings. When he kills the banshee, two landed Vikings can deal with the damaged hellions. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is, though, it costs a lot of money with two uh, scans like this. Yeah, two scans, but also two Vikings. That's a lot of gas and money. So that that set his tech a little bit behind. And now he's supply blocked for almost 30 seconds, which is huge here. You see, he's falling uh, behind in supply. Yeah. And the cyclist player, uh, a cyclist player, does have his natural up and starting to mine from it right now. Uh -huh. Stan getting ready to set his natural up here. Very important. Both players touch their tanks at the same time, which is key here. I think this they, they sort of equalized a little bit, but Stan is behind. Uh, and also Helton here has one tank up to a siege in his natural. Yeah. yeah. I You know, he's eight workers behind due to that supply block mostly. And uh, th those turrets cost a lot. So he's up to four turrets now. That's a whole expansion in turrets. Um, and on the flip side, he, he will be safe against, I, I would say, partially drops, but mostly banshees. But uh, yeah. th that worker lead is, is going to cost him. He's going to go for a drop here, which the banshee sees, actually. I don't know if it's the best idea. Oh, ask if he can play them. This is going to be such tight activity. I, I'm like, like nervous. <laughs> So the drop is coming in here. I don't see Hilton moving his stuff. Yeah, he, he's got a tank in position, so he won't take any damage here. And I doubt that Stan would drop when he's been scouted. And Bank, you're still here. Yeah, sorry, I was gonna write the uh, paddy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So three tanks for Hilton and one tank for Stan, which is huge. Third coming up for Hilton, and no third started for uh, Stan. Stan doesn't have the gases in the natural. He's very far behind in the T standards. Yeah, like especially in the mirror matchups, uh, like every little advantage uh, means a lot. Yeah. yeah, but like this, such a key thing is like. Tanks in TVT is like colossi a number in uh, PvP. You really need uh, to not fall behind in tank count uh, because they're so important to zone off areas and so forth. Heltan uh, locked in a tank here. We're gonna see how it needs to kill a building, I think, to get it out. That's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Let's see. But oh, the, yeah. thir the third here is such a huge thing. Stan yeah. needs to do some sort of damage. He can't just uh, let Hilton uh, 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 snowball ahead here. Yeah. Uncontested. And uh, I usually look at the supply a lot, you might have noticed, and we see it's 
quite a bit. It's 14 supply difference. That's quite a bit, actually. Yeah, yeah. not always is that key in TVT, but if uh, this time uh, Hilton is on better tech as well. So it's a huge thing, actually. Uh, four to three tanks both have their uh, third up. And it seems like. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, they're gonna land them at about the same time here. And we see Hilton moving out, or at least repositioning his army to a better position to defend that third. Yeah. yeah. Three scouting marines for Stan here. Getting, like, getting to that uh, map control that we pointed out in the last game. Yeah. He's playing very safe, uh, Hilton. Uh, like, he's, he's, uh, it's, it's very hard to do damage against him. There's no, like, really weak, weak places right now. Would be potentially a Hellion run by at the third. Um, Stan unfortunately misses the army move out here. Uh, like on this map, oh, you, re you really want marines in four places to cover all attack paths. Uh, he doesn't really do that right now, so he's not aware of this army coming in. No, uh, I think he actually had uh, had a marine at the bottom yeah. right base there, so, but I saw it a bit late maybe. Uh, problem, problem is that uh, Hilton got a very nice tank siege position. Uh, outside the natural, where you can stand and shoot at the... Oh, uh, is he stand here denying the mining, at least at the third? Yeah, that's nice. And most of all, he knows the timing of the third. Oh, Hilton moving back with his army as well. Yeah, I think his goal was to, to kill a third, since he was ahead. But since Stan didn't get a third, they're equal in army supply, but Stan is behind in economy, basically. Yep. So now Stan is going to move out with uh, some detecting units here and there. Oh, the Hellions. Oh, the Hellions getting cornered, and Banshee coming up here as well. Actually, they could have gotten away, I think, in the top there, but uh, yeah, they were very low to start with. We see Hilton is ahead now in uh, about eight workers, but it's less of a difference now than it was before, but still it's still like 30, 30 supply. Yeah, that's so damn annoying. Yeah, see two Marauders. Are not going straight for the marine. Yeah, and this is so intense for both players. Like you need to move your army around constantly to avoid it's being a, killed. It's such a positioning game in uh, TVT. Yeah, but it's not like slow positioning. It's like you need to move back and forth, back and forth, up and down with your army. Like you can't stand still for a second. Oh, oh they're getting really close out now. Stan yeah, is on siege. Yeah, this is really bad for Stan, I guess. Uh, let's see what Hilton decides to do. Like one way to get back into the game would be to make a Doom Drop with four medevacs, which is basically what you want. There's not too much to detect on the bottom side of the map. But I think Stan could actually have done that. Okay, so Hilton uh, went back to move around here, but there's a sensor tower up, so we'll see if Stan gets time. He needs to unsiege and then siege back up. Oh, it's not siege. Reacting. Is it on time though? Yeah, this is going to be siege. bad. Depends on when who gets the shots first. This Viking Stan actually have uh, complete air control, which is pretty huge here. Uh, I think he might even clean up the tanks here, even though he loses the bench the is uncontested. There's no scans. Oh my god! So has one scan watch. on the third before it dies. No. Oh. Tries to lift it, but too late. But landing the Vikings, cleaning up the tanks here. But uh, Stan is probably going to lose his own tanks here to the Banshee. But it's getting low on energy, but still. Yeah, it gets the Banshee, but. Uh... Yeah, supply is actually pretty even now. Stan lost his uh, third, though, so. Yeah. Man, losing the th third is huge, but. Uh, Stan is coming in with a counter here to the third with a lot of Marines, and there's not yeah. enough Marines to defend for Hilton. So this is going to be a nice denial here. Killing a few SVs as well. A lot of SVs goes down here. Uh, not equalizing completely, but like evening out a bit. But there's no uh, base for Stan, so I, I feel like this is a very tough position for Stan right now. There's not too many options except for Doom Drop. Uh, Stan, however, is producing two tanks at a time, and it's one tank ahead at the moment, so the tank count, uh, count is going to be in his favor. 
Yeah. I just wish that Stan would have had two tanks up there on the high ground at the third, and like constantly. That would have saved him enough time to get the rest of his army up there, I feel. Okay, so he's gonna take, he's moving his main to uh, this very dangerous location here. And he's gonna make a push. And this time around, Stan doesn't have any Vikings to back his army up. But as uh, we said, uh, he does have the superior tank count at the moment, so... Yeah. Cyclic very smartly have closed the rocks here to close that main attack path, so he's gonna have enough time to uh, react. Moving his entire army to the third. Yeah, we're doing radio cast, guys. This is so exciting. I wish you guys could see this. This is a drop coming in here for Stan in the top position, but it was scouted. So Hilton is moving his entire army, and Stan was thinking that he could push in the middle at the same time, but I, I, the rocks were there and I didn't sort of expect that. And now Hilton is moving his army back, so it's not going to work. Uh, Hilton um, here taking his fourth, uh, so Stan needs to do something pretty soon. Yeah. And yeah, so radio casting now and casting without uh, sound last game, so the best of two worlds, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you can choose, guys, either picture or sound. Yeah. You won't get both, like, we don't, we don't want to spoil you guys. Oh, oh, catching a medivac here, oh, not as exciting for you guys. It could have, yeah. not really. Okay, they're, they're like, it's like, yeah, they're really playing rat, cat and mouse here. Back yeah. and forth, back and forth, trying to find that position. Drop at the third here for... Um, Hilton. Dan. For Hilton, sorry, there's not enough, it's gonna lose oh, it's tank. gonna snipe a tank as well. Yeah, uh, also, Hilton is maxed out now and starting to bank resources here. This yeah. looks pretty dire for Yeah, I mean, look at, look at the worker count for Stan. It's 36 workers now to 62 of his opponent. You can't really play that game. It's really hard to uh, cash back up. Oh, oh, uh, oh, this, oh, oh, this, oh, this is a bad idea. Bad That's angle for Stan here. Yeah. But he does have vision of uh, Hilton's army. Yeah, the scan goes down. Yeah, Stan yeah, keeps this out. Alright, so uh, what did Paddy say? <laughs> uh, Paddy said that he feels really not too well. Uh, he will play, but he is also on his bad computer, so he said something along the lines, I will play even cheesier than you usually do, Vanquo. Okay. So I'm, I'm going right. to talk to the players a bit and see who we're going to throw out next. I would suggest Paddy, especially against the Terran, but only if he yeah. can play. Uh, I'm asking him right now. Yep. Yeah, but you can... Uh, yeah. Uh, as uh, Paddy said, uh, he usually says stuff like that, but uh, yeah. we all know that he's a safer player. Uh, talking to the team here, let's see. Uh, so Paddy asked to wait for a bit, so I guess that leaves me or Storicals at the moment. I'll ask Storicals. Yeah, he likes it, I think. Storicals uh, is excited to play next game. Let's see what map he wants to play on. Hey, Nick is online. 
Yeah, let's see if he's at the base so he can play. Uh, uh, he's at some uh, Smurf account though. I mean, if he can get on on a Smurf, he can get on on his main. Yes, we're gonna move into our TVC at Coda then. Yeah, so uh, Nick can play after next guy. So we have Nick and Patty. Okay. The Dane's gonna save the day again, hopefully. Oh, didn't we play Coda as first map, or did I mix things up? Yeah, we did. They can't pick. Uh, oh. We can't pick Coda. Oh. I see. Oh, that makes sense. Did he write that to you? Okay. I mean, we still got 15 viewers, so. Uh... Windows 10, hashtag. But hey, uh, Bank, you're there. Yep. Yeah, I'm discussing with Storacles. He really wants to play Coda, it's his favorite map. So now he's having trouble deciding. So. Yeah, but I'm just thinking like if Storacle loses, do we have two more games done? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just as long, just as long as... We have four players all together, so that leaves, uh, I guess, Nick and Patty. So both of them can play, if Storacles loses. Okay. We have announced Storacles now, so he's going to be our next player either way. Yeah. Storacles had some super special thing prepared for code, I guess. Uh, and uh, now he asks for Terraform, so it's not Storkel's best day of map, map picks here, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, so dash and terminal then. Oh, that's such a good CVT map. Oh my god. Like, I hope that Storkus will just go uh, road trolling and go back and forth between the third and the natural. It's just so hard to return on that map. Okay. So I just get the wrong race, so don't start the game. No, uh, I won't start the game before everyone has confirmed.
Okay, go, go. All right, we're loading. Yeah, countdown. Yeah, this is getting better and better. Hopefully, we will get both video and sound this time. What do we get the last game then? Like some uh, 3D projections of the game? Like your. Yeah. At least, you know. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to add some really awesome, awesome plays as well. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So. So spawning in the bottom right, uh, won his first game, playing for Team Cyclic uh, in the pink. It's the Terran player Heltan. All right, and in purple, in the top left, we have playing for tall. It's the Finnish player Storkos. It's one one, right? Yeah. Yeah, of yep. course one one. All right, and thank let's you. Let's see what Storkos can bring out here. Like I'm not sure about this CDT. Uh, I know I've uh, beaten him on a few occasions. Um, but I, I think he got some like very specific or special builds that he does. Uh, I know he lo likes to go for uh, a lot of link aggression for map control very early, like a lot of links. Um, but he might do something different. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, nothing too crazy yet. Yep. yep. I see here what he'll then do as well, like. I, I hope he goes for a CC first, but no. Now we see the Rex coming down here. Um, Storkle scouting around, or is going to go for a gold? But actually, I... actually, worth noting here, this is an 11-11. So this is a very aggressive Reaper. It comes uh, 30 seconds earlier than the normal Reaper, or 25-ish. So this can do a lot of damage, because it will uh, hit before the Queens are out. Um, and I'm not sure that store calls will pick up on a difference. It's a cell thing, and typically with this you go for two reapers. Uh, yeah, and we see yeah. the hatch pretty greedy opener here at least. Yeah, I mean hatch first is so standard in CDT. Yeah, yeah definitely. The, um, uh, but, no really early pool yet. Yeah. Thing is, it's gonna come down to micro a lot, but he could yeah. lose a lot of drones, and if he does, it's really hard to come back from. So here's the first Reaper, standard. Historical sees that it is a Reaper coming at least. But as you see, there's no Queen's queued, and it won't have any Larva right now. It's a little bit uh, dicey here. Oh, well, he needs to wait for the spawning pool at least, so... Yeah. yeah. As you said, it will come down to micro, and obviously we hope that the Reaper won't do too, too much damage. Yeah, second Reaper lined up here. Uh, Storkos oh. bought a little time because the Reaper did a little loop-de-loop -loop around, down the ramp, and then jumping up in the main. So yeah. not yeah. straight beeline. Here it's the pool. He needs and to start the queen. queen. Yeah. yeah. But the and Reaper is already in the base. This is, yeah, he's gonna lose the first one there. He needs to micro very carefully here. Get the... Oh no, yeah. Oh nice, uh, saves the second drone. Oh, move it away, move it away. Oh, oh it's loose. reacting too slowly here. It almost catch the Reapers. That's three kills, right? Yeah, up to um, four very soon. Yeah, four kills and the Queen is gonna come out soon. But uh, two links yeah. coming up in the main here. This is, I would say, close to game ending damage. Yeah, there's a second Reaper coming up as well. Uh, there's a third Reaper uh, uh, in production now, and three Reapers, as you guys all know, can kill Queens. So, uh, Storkus needs to respond to this, and he's very far behind just due to this. F uh, four drones is a lot of drones in this early game. He won't have enough uh, minerals for his timings. You see how quickly the drones go down now. One more. Uh, drone, total of five drones down. Yeah, we behind. see help them uh, expanding behind this. Yeah, it's actually giving me three CC behind this. Yeah. So this is uh, this is a very nice opening, especially on this map, I guess, where Reapers got got this uh, possibility to move in from several different angles. Oh, nice pickup. Didn't quite get to kill the Reapers, and I mean, they had uh, done the damage already, I guess. Yeah. <coughs> Speed is coming down, and I hope 
uh, we'll see how we respond to this. There's gonna be Hellions too, Hellions under production now. And they're gonna look, look to do as much damage as possible. Normally, Zerg wants to get the third down, like now, latest. And we see the drone is moving down there. So I think Helton will uh, put as much pressure as he can on that third uh, with Hellion Reaper. Team starting, very tight build here from Helton. Yeah, definitely. That's <coughs> gonna be a hard couple of minutes here for Storkles to hold this uh, follow up aggression come out from the turn player. Yeah, yeah. Has a spine uh, that he used like when he saved a, a drone from earlier. Has a natural that we see the Baneling nest coming down. Yeah. Good, yeah. good for defending. We I'm see the turn player moving out of the map here. Yeah, but just look at the situation. There's 29 workers to 28 workers, and Turn is now on three bases. Lost like, all his uh, there. Turn doesn't need to do any damage here. Everything he can get here is just bonus. It's gonna be annoying here, move back and forth. And if he can get into the main here, he could kill a lot of stuff. Uh, one, one queen going down, other yeah, one getting low. The King Queen is down, there's not really anything that will... It doesn't have enough links to contest this, really. Yeah. Unfortunately. And we start to see the losing an Overlord here on the other side of the map. Yeah, it's gonna clean this up now, I feel. Yeah. Uh, it gets but it's gonna, it's gonna cost him a lot of Larva to, to do so. He's gonna lose most of these things in the process. Uh, but I guess he needed to clean that up to sort of st stabilize the game. And all in all, he's down to 32 workers at the stage of the game where he wanna be, uh, you know, closer to 50 workers. So this is really uh, so forth Hilton's game. There's no evil chambers, no upgrades up, and uh, Hilton is working on his 1-1. One -one. Um, yeah, um, Storkle's got the Queens back up at least, uh, getting started with the Injects again. So it's gonna help him catch up in the worker count a bit. But as you said, like there's so many ways you can be behind it and upgrades being one of the key points here. Yeah, uh, Hilton, uh, w one thing working for Storkle's is that Hilton is still keeping his uh, CCs in base. Yeah. Uh, he's not really getting the full uh, potential of his uh, of his expansions here. And Storkos is containing him and keeping map vision. We're gonna see what tech Storkos goes for very soon. He's oh. not mining gas from his natural, so it's not gonna be any early Muda. Probably gonna oh, stay on links for quite some time. Morphing here. Eight banelings morphing outside uh, the Terran's natural here. Uh, I think he could actually, actually go and nibble a bit on the, um, the engineering base here of the Terran player. He doesn't have too much there. Just take 5,000 bailings to kill one engineering base, so yeah. I think the better choice is to go for the depot. Run through. No, don't do that. Oh, I don't think that was a good choice. They uh, got repair nothing. coming down. No. Yeah. They're just too strong. If he would have focused depot instead, he might have done some damage there. But I think like it's too choky. It's hard to do much damage with, with the Hellions in the back and then some spread marines. Yeah. Like, it's not the best position for bailing us. Third coming down here for Hilton, who's now ahead uh, 10 supply, and uh, in a lot of other ways too. Storkos got some money lined up, so he can make a lot of links, but he doesn't have any gas for other type of units. And also, all those bailings will delay the Muda, will delay the upgrades, because he is so gas dark. Yeah, now we see once again Hilton uh, moving out uh, across the map here. 1-1 one, one just started for Storicals here. So we have a pretty huge uh, timing window here where the Terran is up in upgrades. Yeah, normally in TVC the upgrades start at the same time for both players if they have a standard game. That's not the case here. We're gonna see if he actually moves in to creep here. They got some mines, but it's still pretty ballsy. Um, oh, there's still like seven links and four queens for Storicals here to defend. Yeah, army is 2,500. I don't think Storkos will actually hold oh. this. No, I think, I think we're gonna say GG pretty soon. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, this is one of the games where like Zerg was just worn down step by step from from super early to kind of early to do mid game. And you, you just can't hold it now. That mine is gonna react like ouch on the bailings. 
Oh. Yeah, cleans up the banelings while they're morphing they into any they, damage. They cancelled all of them, which might have been a... Yeah, there's the GG. So Hilton takes the second uh, map here for Cyclic. Very nice game by Hilton. I think it was very solid performance. I didn't see many mistakes there at all, to be honest. No, it's really on point here. Um, did you get in contact with Nick? Uh, yep, yep, yep. Um, um, so he was gonna relog, I think. Okay, so is he up to play the next game? Uh, yep. <clears throat> I hope he's here. Yeah, he said he was gonna restart before the game to make sure his computer was flowing. So let's buy some time. Yeah. And uh, I would also like to tell Nick about the build the opponent was doing the previous game, so he's aware. Um, yeah. That's, that's a pretty deadly game, and he should have all the information, I hope. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll uh, explain the situation here. And uh, while we're waiting, I'll go get some more water so I can talk even more next game. Awesome. Could we mute the stream uh, for now, Max? Is having a wonderful evening. Now he knows. Now he knows. Because <laughs> he can get in. Easy. He locked himself. He can. Okay, so this is weird. Oh, how did he? Yeah. How did he do that? Oh, oh nice, nice micro, micro on the <laughs> Look at Saving that. Them at the very last second. Oh, oh this is good. Taking out the injured marine. <laughs> And it's working, he didn't lose any, so... Oh, this is worse. Oh, no. oh he's, he's, gonna gonna he's gonna run! Or he's gonna attack the uh, This spot is so oh. strong for tanks. I forgot all about that. But he doesn't have vision, he'll have to scan. I'm pretty sure. I think he has to scan to see it. Oh, he's got the okay. medevac. Never uh, mind. Most is here to save the day. Most likely. Or not. Oh, he forgets to repair the bomb of me. Oh, the PV. I think this is the point of no return. Yeah, he's going for a few roaches and put them in the main mineral line. Oh, that's neat. That's you, that are you at all. 
Uh, no, that looks like a wall that Paddy would do. Yes, we just totally got shot for a Zerlix. Why? What is Wait, he doing? What? Is Dooms? he getting really? a third base? Are is you he... really? Really? Is he really going to be this greedy? Oh, oh, oh yes! he takes the third! I take the Live and Live. swelling. So we're gonna see another TV2. Yeah. More more turn than we usually have. We're gonna have Nick go up against this health end guy. And we're gonna see what Nick can do. He might have some lag, he says. Um but uh, let's hope he will do okay anyway. Yeah, I'm just letting the guys know before I invite that he wants to play on Bridgehead and then we're gonna move into the game. Yeah. Bridgehead is an interesting map choice. It, actually, activities on that map is so fun because you can't siege your opponent up really because there's another way out. So there's going to be so much positioning and army movements constantly and harassing. Yeah, sounds like a, we're in for an exciting game. Yep. yep. And actually, I think uh, Nick is pretty confident in TVT. So yeah. that works in our favor. Let's see here, we're setting up the map. Yeah, sorry, my wife was talking to me. Um, yeah, waiting for party, we're gonna load into the game here. Awesome. AGB5500 says, put me in coach. Not sure what that means. Uh, this is not home story cap, obviously. We only have our own wooden chairs to sit on here in Scandinavia. No, I actually have an IKEA Bilgot. It's pretty worn down. I've had it for several years. That's very Japanese of you, man. Oh, I'm talking to Maximus, by the way. He says he sits on an uh, uh, inflatable doll and... Uh, All right, uh, I think the game is set up. We're gonna see if Nick can take on this Helten. He seems pretty confident. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Helten seems excited to get another win. At least that's yeah. what he thinks. But he have to give it to him. He has played really solid. Let's see if Nick is ready. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start up the game right now. Yes, I am excited. Yeah, so I'm excited as well. And as we mentioned in the beginning of the stream, when we weren't live uh, audio-wise, uh, we had uh, some trouble getting the team together this time. But it turns out not too bad uh, if we get both uh, Stan, Nick, and Paddy playing. And uh, also a full team with Storacles always ready to step in and fill up the team. So Paddy wasn't said he said he wasn't in his best shape today but uh, we know that he always uh, is ready to bring a strong game no matter like what he feels like yep okay. so in the in the right position we should say it's um, uh, nick playing for tall in blue colors hi let's see if he will be the one to take down the player spawning to the left here up uh, two games this far is playing for team cyclic in the pink it's Hilton. Hype. And the score, we should say, is 2-1 uh, 
for uh, what is it? Yeah, it's two one for, uh, for cycling. Term cycling. Yeah. Yeah. So we had in the first game uh, Stan uh, taking him up, but then uh, he fell to this guy, uh, Hilton, uh, who also beat Starkos to bring their team up in the lead two one. Yeah. So let's see so, if uh, Nick can change that. Now. Thing is, uh, Nick has an advantage here because he actually uh, knows about the previous build uh, Helton did. And uh, both players are going gas first, but Nick is going away earlier gas first. Uh, so I think he will go directly into Hellion play here, which oh. could be very deadly uh, if he gets them in. Yeah, definitely, and it's so good that we have uh, you here on the stream today, Venom, because like I would be, co I am completely clueless here, like just watching. Okay, they take gas ish. Like Terran is not my cup of tea, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like this matchup. So I think uh, Nick is doing his the the build he's normally is doing against Zerg, which is going for a little bit earlier gas than gas first. Meaning that they will have 150 gas when the Rex is finishing, so we can build both a factory and a reactor at the same time. Uh, which means that his Helium will be super early. And also, if the opponent goes for the same build as the last time, it's going to be Helions versus Reaper, which is favoring Helions obviously a lot. Yeah, we see the scout come out here for Nick, kind of see exactly what his opponent is doing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you don't. Always see uh, Nick as a scout, but he's doing so this time. And so far, uh, uh, this time Cyclic is going for another build. He's getting yeah, a, a marine not a red bear. Yeah. So he is changing it up, but he's gas first, and Nick knows about it. The yeah. uh, thing, thing is, uh, Nick might get Hellions in here. Oh no, he's falling off now. The interesting Ouch. thing is this, these little small rocks here, they actually have less uh, health than a supply depot. So they're pretty easy huh? to kill and open. People don't yeah. really know that. I'm uh, not a big fan of this map actually. Like the first time I got the proxy hatched on it, I, I vetoed it and never turned back, man. Yeah. There was the Nick switch on. It's gonna make four Hellions, then an expansion, and then two more Hellions. We've seen this build so many times by Nick. We're gonna see here how he, he uh, uh, how he responds. Let's see Star uh, Starport coming down here uh, for Hilton. Yep. Uh, switching the factory. Is it uh, a Banshee play be, again? Yeah, this is a Banshee, but like this is much quicker Banshee than in the previous game. Uh, and the Banshee is going to be good to hold off Hellions, but it, it, this is going to come down to micro. He got a full wall off now with four Marines, so that should hold these Hellions. Oh, Raven, this, actually. Yeah, okay, so this is a... Uh, I mean, this might be the Raven uh, tank drop. Uh, but maybe not, not, because now it's getting a reactor. I haven't really seen this build much, or at all. Okay, we but, see Nick moving across the map here with four Hellions. Uh, unfortunately, they're going to be denied by that wall, and I don't think he will do enough damage to justify this. The order turret by the Raven will be very strong against the Hellions because it's armored, uh, and it has a lot of health. Yeah, Nick well. is gonna see this, and it's gonna see how... A Viking is excellent actually against the Raven. Uh, but I think yeah. there's enough Marine here to deny. It might get a supply depot or whatever, but it's not gonna be more than that. And the Raven is actually quite the investment here, so... Yeah. But you see the auto turret here? You can yeah, coming kill up. You can't kill an auto turret with the... Uh, he gets the supply depot, which is a nice little uh, pick-off. Uh, they're somewhat even in workers, and uh, Nick got more army. This stage of the game. So he keep building Hellions, which is interesting. I mean, now there was a small opening to move in there, but there was too much marines, they would have killed the... Uh, um, yeah, he gets the SV and... Cancel on the next supply depot, maybe. Um, and he could just kill it now. Thing is, he can't stand, so he's out of range. But he, he doesn't really know that, I guess. Yeah, he gets it. Nice, nice pickup. So behind this, let's see what Nick is doing. Um, 
It's also taking uh, an expansion a bit later than Helten's though. Helten's uh, CC is actually finishing up now in 10 seconds. Yeah. Behind the, this, Nick is getting uh, uh, Biotank set up basically, which is the same for um, uh, Cyclic. It's the most, uh, I would say, cost efficient way of playing TVT. But uh, Cyclic will go for a drop here. You get one uh, drop loaded up with one Hellion. And it's gonna move out with that, looking to do some damage. I know that Raven is very strong, but it, it lost some energy on that order turret, so we'll see here how it goes. It's loading up a tank as well. It's sort of unclear what it's actually going to do here. Actually, yeah. Yeah, two tanks. And, yeah, this uh, is the yeah. two tank Raven drop. Yeah, I said that in the beginning, but this is late. Yeah. Uh, two, two, so two tank Raven should hit at uh, before nine. It's gonna hit at 9.30 instead. On the other hand, there's Nick is gonna have nothing against the DGG, I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to kill the hype. But like, but there's on the no other hand, way. Yeah. And, and Nick is moving out with the Hellions, and with no tanks or Raven at home to greet it, he might be able to do some counter damage here. His but here comes his, the drop. Yeah, this is so deadly. There's gonna be a few auditors to, to buffer here, and uh, he's not gonna be able to hold this. Uh, tank goes down almost yeah. instantly. Yeah, this uh, Hilton guy is a really strong player. Yeah, I mean this is my favorite build and it's really good for this map because you can drop straight into it, the main and natural. Just kill the uh, close off all uh, all possibilities to uh, uh, reinforce and so forth. Uh, Nick trying to do a counter drop here, drops seven Hellions <laughs> into the natural Hilton. I mean that's really nice but there is tanks here. He won't be able to kill them. Uh, he could uh, probably kill all the SVs and the natural here, but uh, still, uh, uh, Nick has his production camp here, and uh, yeah, he taps out there. Yeah, no, that's GG. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. Good for good fight, but TVT is very volatile, especially on this map. It's hard to keep map control or like to to um, detect all the drops and so forth. And uh, I guess uh, that wall off really sealed the deal. Yeah, sorry, I was just taking notes of the results here. Yeah, yeah. the wall off, the uh, wall off there, and also as you pointed out, uh, the auto turret uh, is so strong versus those hellions being armored. Yeah, I mean, I I know this because I I played the build that uh, Hel Helton used. This what I played on ladder for, say half a year almost, and. Uh, you, you're just so happy to see those Hellion because that auto turret will just... It can kill by itself four Hellions. Yeah. Uh, it's like, I guess it's mixed feelings seeing your favorite build like that live, but on the wrong side of the match, so to speak. Yeah, it's yeah. a shame. Like, the thing is, I've never seen uh, Nick use this particular build in TVT. Like, he, I, I know he used it a lot in TVC. I guess he was expecting very early um, Rippers. Yeah. Like last game, and then he would have had a huge advantage, but uh, uh, then smartly uh, changed builds here, which made it uh, difficult. Yeah, let's see how I'm trying to... <laughs> yeah, Paddy says he's ready. Uh, let's see what map he wants to play. Yep. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit, Maximus. Uh, please tell him to wait a bit. Uh, we don't have anything in the event calendar. So next uh, map is gonna be Paddy on Moonlight Madness. Ooh, that map. That map is pure madness. We've we've actually uh, played on a lot of the 
like maps that everyone tries to veto as much as possible from a lot of different races. It's going to be interesting here what if yeah. Marius might have a specific build for this map. Yeah, I'm I'm not a big fan of the new map pool actually. And of course, Moonlight Madness, uh, I feel that's a very good map for Terran because they have those ugly little tricks. But as you said, maybe Paddy has something planned. Yeah. So Hilton revealed his um, nationality. Which is interesting. Is apparently Norwegian. Oh. So it's going to be a Norwegian playing a Dane with two Swedish casters. Hype. Hype. And don't do that, man. Okay, players are in the right spots. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Chaos says that he, he's told Paddy to win three games, so he should be up to date with what he's supposed to do. Yep, like kill command man. Okay, I'm gonna move into Hopefully not the final game here. Mm, yep. Let's hope it's certainly not the final game. So we, we're playing on all the two-player maps. We haven't really touched on the four-player maps, right? No, oh, we have... Uh, I guess it's uh, Cactus and Iron Fortress left, right? Yeah. Yes, there should be one more, though. Uh, no, this is the fifth game. The, the score is currently 3-1. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, so... Yeah, I know Paddy actually likes the big maps, so... I don't think yeah. he's, he's afraid of those. <clears throat> this um, map is so interesting, I wonder if he could just blink into that uh, over the back rocks and uh, uh, sort of win the game that way. I haven't really seen that many TVPs on this map, not even the pro gamers use this map. I think Produs has also vetoed it. Yeah, because of the stupid high ground next to your base, like, uh, I think it was Flash that dropped just a tank and built a turret up there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, loading into the game here at uh, Moonlight Mad Madness. We have uh, spawning in the bottom left, uh, getting out of bed, being a bit sick, uh, playing Purple Protoss, it's Paddy. Hype. Yeah, we should really add a disclaimer that Pat didn't want to play, he felt really sick. Um, so really uh, don't judge, don't judge. Everything that we can get is a bonus. And in the top right, we have his opponents winning the last three games. It's a very strong turn player called Helta from Norway. Yeah, let's see uh, if any nerves come into play here, if he's like just really feeling the momentum here at Helta, or if he's getting nervous, like uh, thinking about that. Uh... Just the perfect streak. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be the guy that's too uh, like psyched out by um, clan war things, but uh, let's hope. Yeah, let's I hope. actually talked to him uh, before the game uh, about setting up uh, the clan war and so on. Uh, he's a, a really friendly and a nice guy altogether. I don't think he's that prestigious, but you never know once that com competition comes into play. Might turn into a monster. Yeah. We got standard opening from uh, Hilton and uh, nothing uh, cheeky from Paddy. Uh, kind of a. Uh, yeah, yeah, gas is normal. Yep. Uh, let's keep an eye out here. Uh, I don't think uh, Paddy will do anything too, too crazy, you know, proxies or anything. We see the second gas coming down pretty quick though. Yeah, uh, so this is a tech build. And the Hilton uh, goes for uh, a 14 scout, which is, I guess, standard. And it's a really good choice here, since there, there is a double gas. He's gonna have to uh, figure out what Paddy's up to. 
Uh, for now, Paddy doesn't put too many guys. He has uh, two guys in his, each gas, so it might just be a preference uh, there. Oh, so doesn't have to be anything crazy like an early stargate we see here. Paddy sending yeah, out yeah. the scout. That scout is very late. Like typically, uh, Protoss is scout earlier before the Reaper's out and then move away when the uh, Reaper is about to pop. And uh, this could be a late. proxy. Yeah, uh, he's heading straight for the base though. Yeah, and no, he's and going back. back. You think? I think this is gonna be a blink over those rocks. That's my take. A one base blink. We we have to see, but you know, it's stalker first. Yeah. And it's getting um, that pylon. Like, yeah. I guess he could have gotten the pylon so he could actually blink over the rock or even warp in over the rocks, but this is fine too, I guess. Unfortunately, the Reaper says immediately that pylon, uh, so that's gonna shut down the whole uh, plan for Paddy, I suppose. And uh, now we see Stalker coming out, probably won't be in time to save the pylon. Mm, no, most likely not. Maybe there will, if it provokes the Reaper to go. Yeah, you see Twilight, so this is a typical blink. I guess um, and now he's on uh, three workers in each cast. So this is yeah. like a one base blink type of play. Uh, that pylon might or might not go down, it's hard to say. Yeah, it's, it seems like Paddy's gonna save it. And this yeah. makes also, we see the scan coming down here, so um, he'll then know what's going on. But what yeah. I was about to say that it could uh, trick him into believing with the double gas and the forward pylon here that uh, Paddy was going for a proxy stargate. And uh, I mean, it's just a proxy pylon for warp ins here. So uh, we see the blink research. So as long as he keeps it there and, uh, for the forward warp ins. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have warp take yet, though. Here's the three gates. Here's blink. Blink is being thrown out. But, but Hilton is scouting so well, he knows exactly what's up here. He's also seen two stalkers. Yeah, and getting the it, concussive shells. Yeah, and he's closing down the back of rocks, so it's gonna be way harder to move in there. He, he doesn't have bunkers though, like he would On need Paddy bunkers. On into the natural here. Yeah, he's gonna pick a few workers possibly. We're also doing this mostly to see what tech the turn is on, but he doesn't want to get caught like this. This is not good. Ouch. It is not We're gonna lose to both stalkers, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, that, I have to say, Hilton like... just playing really solid overall. Yeah, yes and no, but like if you scout this, it's not that hard to hold. But, uh, like the difficulty is gonna come when Perry moves back and forth between the, the bases. Yeah, uh, but yeah, wh what I was meaning was uh, Hilton uh, playing solid as in he scouted correctly, he killed the Bactor Rocks, he's getting concussive shells, uh, putting himself in a good uh, position to defend. But of course, this is by no means over. The real push is gonna start very soon. Uh, as we see Paddy moving out, still has that uh, forward pylon position. Yeah, I guess it's a little bit late for one base blink. Wouldn't you wanna yeah, be pushing <laughs> like 730 now? Maybe. Yeah. And I do want to see the mothership core position. Just yeah, he's getting the the top bunker as well. So let's see how he uses that extra pylon that he has. No repair yet, but he will get there to repair it in time. Yeah. And there's like one marauder, I guess, but there's a lot of marines, and yeah, steam is halfway down, but he got concussive, which is great against me. The bunker on top of the ramp is not really. Ah, oh, it's completing now. So, yeah. body ship uh, core in position. Time warp. Nice nice. time warp. Links into the main. Good positioning for Paddy here. Yeah. Does he that, have enough? That's a well? lot of bio. A lot of bio and a lot of. SVs yeah. are actually really strong versus the stalkers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but this is gonna kill a lot of SVs. But on the other hand, uh, Hilton is on. Uh, Two bases versus one base, and it's getting more and more marauders behind this. Picking up some workers here, really neat. He got uh, reinforcing uh, some reinforcing stalkers that he's not really using here. 
But now yeah. there's no no there's no way to blink in anymore because he doesn't have a high ground vision. Yeah, so when behind Dark Shrine here, uh, I guess uh, Paddy realizes that he didn't do quite enough damage. So, uh, so yeah, he bets on the DTs, hoping to be able to get in, get back into the game. Yep. yep. With uh, the bunk on the high ground and SVs in position to repair here, uh, Hilton is uh, gonna hold any further aggression for a while. Yeah. I mean. To be objective, uh, there's very few games like this that Protoss wins when they stay on one base for this long and uh, Terran gets all the tech up and so forth. Uh, um, the starport is finished, gonna produce two medivacs at a time. He will be able to drop in the back. He will able, he'll even be able to drop with the mines now. There's not really any detection at home for Paddy. Um, As Scans uh, catches the, the Dark Shrine here just before it finishes. Yeah. A little poke with Salad to confuse, and at the same time, it's actually killing the rocks completely. Now it's gonna move in and have some more space to micro versus those uh, SVs. It could See take it. the add ons. Gets out, very nice. I mean, micro is doing very well, but it won't help. I see a first DT, first round of DTs coming up, and the turret finishes up just in time. And yeah. Maybe Paddy even. Oh, he sneaks one past, but there's a turret in the main mineral line as well. Yeah. Yeah, really nice defense by Hilton, who's now up uh, 80 to 40 supply almost, so. Yeah. This is looking very dire. Uh, very nice uh, scans by Hilton. And now the, yeah. the sort of balls flows into the, the court of the turn player. Army supply is doubled for Hilton now. Yeah, uh, playing at this level, it's really, really hard to come back uh, as a Protoss player here. Yeah. Maybe if he catches a drop with his Blink Stalkers moving over the map, something like that can get him back into the game. Technically, he gets the bunker. bunker. Nice. But still too much bio. He doesn't need the bunker anymore. And a drop here in the natural for. Uh, Got down on yeah, the GGs. And uh, very nice play by Cyclic uh, Hilton, right. uh, all Hilton. killing here, 4 1, and uh, yep. wins this ESL clan war. And I think well deserved. He beat yeah. our best players, one could say. Yeah. So, and remember. Uh, some good games. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. A lot of turn including games, which we haven't seen in a long while. So, N not just one Sir game, unusual. Yeah, uh, usually McLovin, uh, yeah, we have quite many Zergs uh, in the clan, and uh, thus also in the ESL team, of course, and then uh, when McLovin plays, he usually wins some map, at least, so we see one more <laughs> game of him, at least, so. Yeah, the thing is, they actually had a GM player lined up, ready to play, so yeah, I, I this was a tough team for us. Yeah. Uh, as uh, we also mentioned uh, uh, in the beginning of the stream, when we didn't have audio, that technically like they're lower ranked than our latest opponents, but we saw that in the beginning, like a GM player lined up and some really strong master players. So yeah. it, it's actually, uh, it, it was a really tough match. Yeah. And, and I mean, this guy was like 11 time master, really solid turn. All right, so we're going to close down the stream with that, I suppose. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thank you, Maximus, for streaming. Thank you, Bank you for co-casting. And thank you, myself, for casting. And yeah. uh, Great job, I, Yeah, we're going to have a lot of uh, Clan Wars coming up, uh, mostly uh, lower leagues, but also some ESL ones. So keep an eye up in the event calendar. And also be sure to uh, be helpful to all the new players that join the Clan. Uh, show them around and, and be friendly. And with all yeah. that, I say, Bid you all good night. Yep, thank you guys. Good night.